Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, my name is Emma and I'm an alcoholic. I have a home group in Melbourne, Australia, and I have a sponsor. And my question uh, for this podcast is, uh, what are the promises of the AA program? And when I came in, I heard a lot of people talk about the promises. And I heard them talk about mainly what we call the step 10 promises, which are about a life beyond your wildest dreams, free of regret, um, and feeling only gratitude for any experience that comes your way so that it might help others. (laughs) And to me at the time, those seemed like very far off aspirations. In fact, I wasn't even sure that I wanted a peaceful, happy life when I came in. You know, I was so used to living in drama and melancholy And that was all I knew. That was what I was comfortable with. And I thought that that meant an exciting life, you know, but, um, but what I've come to realize over the years, uh, I've been around about seven and a half years now. And, um, what I've come to realize is that there are all these other things that AA promises and I see them through the steps in other members of AA. Like I see evidence of these things working, Uh, through other members of AA. And after step one, you know, I was so full of despair, I I could not stop drinking. And that was so clear to me. But after step one, coming in, you know, there's this massive leap, or there was for me, from step one to step two, where all of a sudden, I'm supposed to find a God, (laughs) I'm supposed to have some understanding of what God means to me. And I don't know about anyone else. I hear it quite a lot, but I was a militant atheist when I came in. You know, I was um, quietly agnostic, but openly atheist to anyone who would listen. And I couldn't believe that I was supposed to make this jump from total despair to God and that that was supposed to be the prerequisite for the rest of the steps. Um, But what I was told is that uh, it's only the open-mindedness and the willingness to believe in something greater than yourself, you know? So when I came in, I was so unwilling to take advice from anyone. Like I had never followed an instruction to the letter in my life. I had only ever done it my way, but expected your results. And for the first time in my life, when I came into AA for whatever reason, I was willing to try it someone else's way. And like, you know, talk about a spiritual experience, but that was a real spiritual experience for me, just being willing to try something a new way. I also thought I was really open-minded before I came into AA, you know, because I was willing to try any drink or uh, go out and be spontaneous when I was drunk. (laughs) But what I found out was that I was incredibly close-minded when it came to things that might help me uh, just completely change my life. You know, I was really close-minded and all that was required of me was open-mindedness and willingness to try these new, bizarre AA things, you know, things like getting a home group, things like having a sponsor, things like telling the truth to my sponsor, Those were novel to me and they were incredibly spiritual experiences when I finally did them. Uh, So if you are new, I would strongly encourage you to stick around, get a home group, get a sponsor and do the steps. Um, It's changed my life completely and all of the promises have come true for me over the past eight years. Uh, Thanks so much for listening to my share and I wish you all well. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.